In 2011, 3,331 people were killed in crashes involving a distracted driver, compared to 3,267 in 2012. In addition, 387,000 people were injured in motor vehicle crashes involving a distracted driver, compared to 416,000 injured in 2010. Driving while using a cell phone reduces the amount of brain activity associated with driving by 37%. Distracted driving is 100% preventable. That is why we are here today to educate all youth and adults from around the country on the dangers of distracted driving and how we can put an end to it in our chapter, community, state, and nation today. Hello, I'm Marissa Cooner, and this is my partner, Taylor Kenny. We are currently sophomores attending Polda High School and have been educating youth and adults from around the nation for the past three years about the dangers of texting while driving. We chose the Star Event category because we feel so strongly about the negative effects of this issue that we wanted to not only inform others, but also advocate for law supporting no texting while driving. Our Star Event category recognizes participants who demonstrate their knowledge, skills, and abilities to actively identify local, state, or national concern, research the topic, identify a target audience, and potential partnerships, form an action plan, and advocate for the issue in an effort to positively affect a policy or law. Now this certainly sounds like a lot for two 10th graders to accomplish. As we present our portfolio today, we will walk you through what we did in a step-by-step -step manner. Throughout this entire project, we used many of the soft skills we learned in our facts class. They include organizational skills, time management skills, and communication skills. We also focused on the sixth national FCCLA purpose, to provide opportunities for making decisions and assuming responsibilities. We feel that we also included two of the national facts standards. The first, 1.0, focuses on life connections, and the second, 13.0, focuses on interpersonal communication. After completing our research and finding the statistics already given, we met with our chapter advisor to outline a project. I completed the planning process that you see here on this page of our portfolio. Having identified our concerns, we formulated our goal, completed the who, what, when, where, and how steps of the plan. We also included the partnerships we would contact, any resources what we would need, and what the cost would be. Having all that in place, the exciting part of our project began, the app step. As you might guess, we are very eager young ladies, and once we get interested in a project, there is no stopping us. More about the act and follow-up steps of the planning process in a few minutes, because we need to move on into the requirements for this STAR event. As you notice, we had to select our issue type, and we of course chose texting while driving. After advocating on the local and state level, we knew it was time to take our project to the national level. Our goal was to inform as many as 10,000 teens and young adults from around the United States with the help from opportunities we received from our many sponsors. We also aim at having publicity on at least three different levels, sending letters and emails to our local state senator and representatives. By taking these steps, I knew we could accomplish our advocacy goals. The research on our project forced us to look at both sides of the issue. We were so focused on the negative effects that we didn't realize that in some groups, the, age of, the occurrence of texting while behind the wheel had actually dropped in the past year. However, the greater percentage of our research still supported our issue of no texting while driving. Here are our project goals and the points of support for each. Goal 1. By October 31st, we will set up a banner in our school and invite students and staff to pledge that they will no longer use their cellular devices while driving. Goal 2. By January 1st, we will record several radio public service announcements to play at multiple radio stations in our local and surrounding area. Goal 3. By May 25th, we will plan and host a rally, including all members of the local and surrounding communities, which will focus, again, on the dangers of distracted driving. Imagine stepping onto a hotel elevator and seeing our bright and cheerful faces. Hopefully, you would greet us, and that would give us the perfect opportunity to tell you a short informational speech we created, otherwise called the elevator speech. Do you text and drive? It has been brought to our attention that every hour, three people die in texting and driving car crashes. It is our desire to educate all drivers on the severity of texting and driving, as we feel this uprising concern is 100% preventable. What drivers don't realize is that texting while driving takes a person's hands off the wheel, eyes off the road, and mind off what they are doing, which results in thousands and thousands of car crashes each and every year. Please choose to arrive alive and don't text and drive. What do you think? Did we make an impression on you about texting and driving? Hopefully you would step off the elevator and tell at least 10 other people what you heard. 
and they would tell ten, and our message would spread like a wildfire. Because some people do not always comprehend the oral message, we have also written a visual message to show people. Here is what we created as our leave behind. This summarizes our project goals, supplies applicable statistics and data, and reminds everyone of the dangers of texting while driving. On this part of our portfolio, you see we chose to target junior and senior high students, along with the adults. The junior and senior high students needed to have a strong visual, and our leave behind was just not enough. After attending a conference in Washington, D.C., we found out we would be given a driving simulator for our rally. As we learned from previous years, this was absolutely the best way to have teens see firsthand that even though they thought it was okay to sneak a peek while driving, they can actually kill themselves and others. When we started to think about partners for our project, we were not sure who they would be or how we would contact them. Little did we know that a few phone calls later and many suggestions led us to the following. The National Organization of Youth Safety, NOISE, the Murray County Sheriff's Office, Act Out Loud, and AT&T. Our main partner was NOISE. Last year, we worked with NOISE in a project to raise awareness in our school about the dangers of distracted driving. For the contest, we were required to make a poster, design a t-shirt, and try to get as many participants as we could to pose for a billboard. After we completed these tests, we were chosen as top three judges' preference and won $2,000 for our FCCLA chapter. This year, we submitted a paper to NOISE and all the community service acts we have completed, as well as what we plan to complete. After review of all the papers, we were notified by NOISE that we would be attending a three-day conference in Washington, D.C. While in Washington, we would be joined by 12 other groups of two from around the nation. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that taught us so many valuable skills on how to keep teens safe in fun and creative ways. In April, we personally attended a conference in Denver, Colorado the Lifesavers Conference. The main focus of this conference was driving safety. While there, we posed in a booth where we had the opportunity to share many ideas and our passion for keeping teens safe with leaders and representatives of major companies from around the nation. We also gave a 10-minute informational speech on everything we have accomplished with FCCLA and NOIF in the past three years. This May, we organized an Act Out Loud rally at our school. This event featured two speakers who were involved in texting while driving crashes themselves. Justin Iber from Mitchell, South Dakota, and Will Craig, national spokesperson for AT&T. We also put on a mock crash with help from the local police, fire, and ambulance departments, as well as North Air Helicopter Care and our local funeral home. We submitted a video of our rally to Act Out Loud, and although it wasn't selected as top three, the lesson our community and school learned from this event made it all worthwhile. Remember when I said I was excited about the act step of the planning process? Here's a chart of what we accomplished this year. As you can see, we have been very busy and have enjoyed every minute of this project. Once the media got involved, the publicity was enormous. Being featured on the front page of seven newspapers, interviewed by live radios, aired for CNN for our trip to Washington, and being featured as peer advocates on two websites, has spread the word even further than we have ever envisioned. So we have a couple pictures in our portfolio that we're going to explain to you today. This is us signing um, a banner and also hosting a, a no drive um, for the State Farm for the day. This is sponsored by at and It was a banner that we had in our school. This is us at the local radio station. There's pictures of the people who did the interviews with us and also public service announcements that we're playing. As we attended the Washington conference, there was many different groups of teens from all around the United States. So we were the only group from Minnesota, so we had to do a uh, man on the street in Minnesota and a gum gum style dance, which is here, just to show something that would represent our state that they showed called the local state representative. These are just pictures from the Washington trip in local newspapers. Here was our pictures from trip to Washington. This is a picture of us at the conference in Denver, Colorado. Um, we have the other teams here as well as one of the advisors there. And this is us speaking at the conference. There was 12 different groups of two selected to go to Washington. And from there, there was three groups of two selected to go to Denver. You know, just more pictures of what we did with Act Out Loud. This is the poster we made. This is the t-shirt we made. And this is just us at the conference. This is everything that we completed that we have that checked off. Here were some of our rally plans that we focused on through noise and act out loud. And here are pictures of two of our speakers, Justin Eiberg and Will Craig. We 
Here's a picture of our student actors that were involved in the mock crash. This is a picture of the live scene mock crash and just some action that's going on in the background. Here are just some more action pictures of our crash that we held. And this is just the local newspapers and surrounding area newspapers that cover our event. As you can see, we've been very busy and enjoyed every minute of this project. Now for the follow-up step, which is entitled Results of Advocacy. Note, on this part of our portfolio, we have not only given the results thus far, but also stated we want to continue to accomplish. Please remember not to text and drive. I want you and all others on the roadways to arrive live. If you have any questions, we will now try and answer them at this time. Thank you.